Good afternoon, class. This is now our third uh, lesson in uh, uh, LAMP uh, module two. It is in uh, land administration and management, which uh, the module specifically uh, emphasize. This module is specifically emphasize on the uh, organizational and institutional uh, framework of land administration and management in the Philippines. We have already discussed the institutional and uh, organizational uh, framework of land management and we also have discussed for land administration and this uh, afternoon or today we are going to discuss on the land registration no? that is uh, going a little further on land administration and management we zoom in a little deeper we look into the dynamics of land registration systems in the philippines how are you going to register a land what is uh, the what are the uh, requirements of ownership how are you going to get an uh, how are you going to uh, declare or secure a good ownership and, and things like that no so we really have to uh, understand better in terms of the historical and also the the administrative background of <clears throat> land titling no so this uh, le le lecture today will be on uh, uh, land and registration systems in the philippines okay so uh, at the end of this lesson the students are expected to understand the primary importance of land registration and the role of cadaster in land inventory and land information system okay what is a cadaster okay what's exactly is the function of the cadaster as we have already <clears throat> discussed before the cadaster is a repository uh, unit or division or agency of the government that keeps on land information for purposes of uh, really uh, addressing on the land adjudication and at the same time for raising revenue and to facilitate market also of land transactions no? so uh, today we will uh, go very clearly or very uh, straightforwardly on the registration dynamics of the of the philippines okay what is a registration what is the meaning of registration now uh, the, the old dictionary, the Spanish dictionary translated into in English, defined registration as the means in which any entry made in the books of the registry, including both registration in its ordinary and strict sense, and the cancellation, annotation, and even marginal notes in its strict acceptation it is the entry made in the registry which record solemnly and permanently the right of ownership other real properties okay so registration is actually just recording okay recording and it bears the assumption that what is being recorded is really a legal tender of a particular title okay has a real right unless otherwise contested in court so it's just registration where in the registry uh, in the in the registry record in in local for example in, in the, at the local level we call it the uh, uh, registry of debts register of debts okay so that records all uh, land transactions or even ownership of land no so that whatever is registered it bears the assumption that it is using the legal instrument for declaring ownership. Okay, now registration further pertains to the proceedings, either administrative or judicial, for registering the title and the interest thereof. Okay, remember registering the title and the interest thereof. And then it becomes a public document once it is registered. It is also, it then uh, is enter and interested parties informed in whatever way 
and bound and bound by it. No? All other interested parties are in either way informed and is bound by it. And it also ascertain if there is no object, objective, if there is no objection or ob, uh, objectionable portion within a specified or specific time. Okay, so that's registration. It becomes now an open document subject for contestation or whatever uh, incumbrances there may there may be no and, and then it is also within a specific period of of time so it's either administrative or judicial uh, procedure in registering titles and interest thereof no once it is registered it becomes public document and in any interested parties they will also inform the interested parties and becomes bound by it and it's also going to uh, uh, create an ascertain that there is no objectionable portion of that particular register. Now, what is the purpose of registration? The purpose, basically, of registration is to ascertain once and for all the absolute title of a given property, so land property, to make so far as it is possible a certificate of title issued by the court to the owner of the land, absolute proof such of such title. And then another purpose is to quiet all conflicting claims in regards to your to your title and to decree that the land title to be final, irrevocable, and undisputable. Okay. So that's really the what is being accomplished to silence all uh, uh, like conflicting claims and also to uh, declare your ownership that your ownership becomes final irrevocable and undisputable now specifically registration accomplishes the following make the instrument evidencing the transactions valid against third person claim and then another one it's it that uh, the registration also make them binding on the land itself Requirements for recording of the instruments are designed. And then furthermore, it also prevents fraud and to permit the require uh, the and to, to permit and require the public to act with presumption that what the recorded instruments exist and are genuine unless contested otherwise. No? So uh, once it is registered, it bears the assumption that it is the legal instrument that is being recorded for purposes of ascertaining ownership and silence all conflicting claims, okay? Now, registration furthermore is, is we have to be reminded that registration by registering is just a ministerial act by which an instrument is sought to be inscribed in the records of the registrar of deeds and annotated by at the back of the certificate of title covering the land subject to subject of the instruments it is not a declaration by the state that such an instrument is valid and subsisting interest in the land Take note registration of land does not bear with it that <coughs> the state actually dec declares the instrument as valid it is only up to what the claim is is i uh, know is uh is uh, is is declared no if the instrument it is legal it is legal as far as that particular statement unless otherwise contested by any other party provided however that there is a there is a proof on the contrary that there is a conflicting claim on that that is why before you register all adjacent plots and any particular interest with any of the bounds of your property must be properly informed and they have to subscribe to whatever registration that you are uh, uh, doing no they need to subscribe and really acknowledge in writing that there is no encumbrances in the property claim that you are uh, registering okay now neither is the validity of the registration instrument can only be determined in an ordinary case before the courts not before a court acting not before a court acting merely as a registration court which has no jurisdiction over the same what does it mean okay 
what is what does it mean if if you register okay if you register the, the property in a in by through judicial means okay the validity of that instrument can only be determined in an ordinary case before the you file if you have a counter counterclaim against the property issued by the court you file a uh, a, a case declaring your uh, conflicting claim against the property can be filed any time okay but your the filing of uh, the filing of complaint does not prevent or will not invalidate uh, the the registration unless otherwise proven by your the, the complaint that you have filed okay the fact that the instrument was registered does not stop any party to it from setting up that it now has no force or effect of law okay it does not mean to say that uh, once you register the property judicially it's already written in stone no you can file uh, actually a, uh, a complaint a complaint that that instrument is not is not uh, is is encumbered or is in trouble or something like that no so you can find that in any courts of law ordinary case will be handled as ordinary case but the registration registration itself when there is no conflicting claim at the time the registration was made will become binding and executory okay registration offices under the present laws in the philippines what are the registration what are the offices that are responsible in the registration one is the Department of Justice shall define the official station or and territorial jurisdiction of um, a jurisdiction of each registry upon the recommendation of the Commissioner of Land Registration. Though the Commissioner, the CLR, has now been named as Land Registration Authority or LRA. No? So, ang bago, bagong pangalan ng ano, uh, Commission on Land Registration is already Land Registration Authority. Okay. So that's one particular unit from at the DOJ, and then Executive Order 649, dated February 9, 1981, issued by former President Marcos, reorganized the LR, LRC or Land Registration Commission into the National Land Titles Deeds and Registration Administration, and regionalizing the offices of the Register of Deeds. Okay. <clears throat> In general. One seeking to be registered as owner may show a good title in himself against the world. Okay? If you want to be the owner of the property, you show a good title. Okay? Show a good title. Now, a tax declaration is not a real or real property tax payment cannot be conclusive evidence of ownership because you can, you can just pay anybody else's uh, uh, tax declaration. Because tax declaration is just a testimony that you are paying tax. It's not mean to say that you are the owner of the property. Or uh, as long as you pay tax, that's okay with the government. But if you uh, in insist your rightful claim over the property, that's another story. You have to show a valid title or a good title. Survey plan of the land also. Sometimes you will be given a survey plan of the land unless it is uh, signed by the director of the Bureau of Lands. And it's appellate. That's that's uh, no, that's still invalid. You cannot assert that as a valid claim of ownership. Okay. <coughs> now in the Philippines, there are presently only two systems of registration of real property, namely the Torrin system and the Spanish mortgage law system of recording and registered real property. Okay. Now let's go a little bit on what is a Torrin system. Because we know, do you have a Torrens title? What, what what exactly do we mean by Torrens title? So let's rewind a little bit in history. The the word the word owes to the Torrens system, the word owes the Torrens system of land registration to Sir Robert R. Torrens. Can it Sir Robert R. Torrens? He was the commissioner of customs in South Australia. Torrens was inspired by the comparative facility with which ships or undivided shares therein were negotiated and 
transferred in accordance with the Merchant Shipping Acts. So in other words, uh, Mr. Torrens, Robert Torrens, devised a scheme because he was a uh, customs commissioner, devised a scheme of maybe from his work in the ship, shipping company, the sh uh, uh, shares of stock of people are transferred according to a certain system of uh, ownership. No? So that particular system made him, uh, like for example, interested to use that for the registration of land, uh, land registration in Australia. When he became a member of the first colonial ministry of the province of South Australia, he introduced in the parliament a bill embodying his scheme for land registration. Okay, so he, he got it in shipping company, sharing of stock or transferring of ownership. Now he used that particular scheme into land registration system, which passed and came to be known as the Torrens system. Okay, that's why we inherit that from that particular system. Now, in general, it established a system for registration of titles to land, whereby official certificate will always show the state of the title and the person in whom it is vested. It also provides provision for bequest, whereby after the original registration, transfers of the land will be made in the uh, manner prescribed in details in the acts. That's why in the land title, Torrent system, it, it says the heirs of Juan de la Cruz. That means to say it already specifies the provision for bequest that only the heirs of Mr. Juan de la Cruz can inherit the land. Okay? So it's it's like that, no? In in in, in many titles. Another thing, Torrent system in the Philippines is judicial in character. Okay? Remember? It is judicial in character and not merely administrative in nature. Judicial proceedings for the registration of land throughout the Philippines shall be in rem and shall be based on general accepted principles underlying the Torin system. The proceedings is in rem, that means in consonance, as witnessed by decision sustaining the validity of the registration. Now it will be published so that there will be no conflicting ownership, okay? Once it is by declared binding and executory. No? The real purpose of Torrent system is to silence title to land, to stop forever any question as to its legality. No? Once a title is registered, the owner may rest secure without the necessity of waiting in the portals of the court or sitting on the miradors of casa to avoid possibility of losing his land. That means sitting in the hallways of the court, in the hallways of justice, sitting in the uh, mirador to su casa in Spanish. So in other words, that alone, if there is anybody that is going to uh, refute your claim, you show him the title, the Torrance title, that your ownership is legal, okay? So that when the, there is conflicting, he has to file a case in court. If, if, he, if he wins, he can, that ownership can be changed, but if he does not, he uh, cannot change the title. The Torrance system does not create or vest title. It only confirms and records title already existing and vested, okay? It does not protect an, a usurper from true owner. It cannot be shielded for the commission of fraud. Okay. What does it mean? The Torrens title is just a system of vesting a title. As we have said, anybody who has a conflicting claim can file a case against or to refute that ownership. Okay. So that means it is not a full proof that it's, it's already what? It's already... Uh, irrevocable. If there is somebody who can prove otherwise that your ownership is fake, he can do that. No, he can do that. As long as, but but in the absence of in the absence of any any uh, conflicting claim, your ownership stands binding and enforceable in court. Okay. Now, guidelines for land registration in the Philippines. What is a tourist title? It does not permit to one 
the, the title also in the Victorian system does not permit one to to enrich himself at the expense of of another. Okay. Now, the other system, you now the other system of registration is the Spanish mortgage law system. Kanina the Torrent system, kind of Spanish mortgage law system, which has been discontinued by the enactment of PD 892 and 1976 and Presidential Decree 1529 dated June 11. What is this? No, what is this? Ang tan ang it declares it's this particular PD it declares that all land owned by the by the by the royal uh, colony or the, the royal uh, the the royal crown of Spain during that time, all associated transactions related to it shall be deemed transferred to the government of the Philippines. Okay, so <coughs> any unregistered land shall be owned by the state. If you are registered during the Spanish mortgage system, then you can be you can uh, apply directly for uh, <coughs> re redefinition of your ownership. Okay. The system of registration under the Spanish mortgage law is hereby <coughs> discontinued. And all lands recorded under the said system, which are not yet covered by Torrens title, shall be considered as unregistered. Kung karaan pa ng imong registration, kung, mata, kung ano na yan, kung luma pa yan, Spanish pa ng imong ano, you have to... <coughs> register it again under the torrents title so those that are not transferred or registered under the torrent system shall be considered unregistered or even public land no? steps in chronological order for the registration of title of land under republic act 496 now the now pd number 1529 or the property registration decree there are about 13 steps in chronological order. Step one, survey of the land by the Bureau of Lands or duly licensed surveyor. That means if you want to get the title, you have to make a survey. Okay, survey ni mong area, defining everything there. Okay, now in the survey, you have to, uh, for example, inform the adjacent areas that maoni ni mong define. This is the, you define this, inform, and then you have to sign that they conform to the definition of the lot survey the second step is preparation and filing of the application for registration by the applicant the application shall the application for land registration shall be in writing signed by the applicants or the person duly authorized in behalf and sworn before any officer authorized to administer or for the province or city where the application was actually uh, filed okay Command of survey, file the application for registration. After the filing, setting of the date of the hearing of the application in court. So, I got hearing provided you your your filing is uh, is uh, conforms to substance, also in material, in in form. Then hearing can be scheduled, can be can be scheduled rather, and. Uh, the hearing can also we will also be uh, published so that other conflicting claim can now really uh, you know, say uh, do a conflicting claim if that if not then the, the the publication shall be done within 45 days okay not later than 90 days then the hearing will commence okay the result of the hearing okay number four transmittal of the document documents for the application date and the final hearing together with all documents attached there too by the clerk of court no? so uh, the clerk of court will send to land registration authority duplicate of the application now this is now scheduled for hearing to really solicit or elicit uh, interested parties of conflicting claim on that property okay publish the notice of filing okay within 45 days and then to buy an official gazette and then ugula gay clay pang con actually ano uh complain against it then the it will serve notice upon contiguous contiguous owners no why complain why complain that it will send notice to contiguous 
owners or adjacent flat owners and those known to have interest in the property. Okay? Now, the administrator of the uh, national land trans, uh, the, the, the administration of the what this this particular uh, national land registration authority or nal nal drag nal drag no so will they will also be with the administrator of the nal drag shall also uh, within seven days after publication send notice of the official gazette as already provided for cause a copy to the notice of initial hearing to be mailed to every person name in the notice whose address is known okay now filing of the answer to the application by any person with their name in the notice or not they, are, they can send notice that i i, I dispute that particular claim now then uh, let's let's listen to it hearing of the case by the court step number eight the hearing of the application of the registration is held on the date stated in the notice by express provision by rule 140 of the court the rules contained therein are not applicable to land registration and cadastral cases except by analogy or supplementary character and whenever practicable and convenient no? so it's not the the notice is not the same as notice of land dispute hearing this is a different notice no this is a notice for <coughs> the registering ownership no? promulgation of judgment a judgment or decision constitute opinion of the court after taking into consideration evidences submitted by the parties in the controversy the judgment of the court contains a statement of the facts and the applicable law together with an order for registration of the property once the once the court declares the ownership and so ordered it's declared with finality that you are that your claim is legal then you will be issued a torrent's title no? then issue once when ordered by the court declaring the judgment final and instructing after the expiration of 30 days counted from the date of receipt of notice of judgment no appeal or any other motion having been filed the judgment shall become final after making the decision of the court there is a reglementary period of 30 days after which no more complaint can be done against it so if you have a different uh, you have a diff you have a complaint related to the case you file it in a in a separate case now number 10 issue once of an order by the court declaring the judgment final and instructing so more than a shot no now number 11 extra uh, extra or in, uh, extra entry of the decree of registration so after having received the like uh, decision of the court it will now be entered into the registration of all deeds land ownership okay this decree of registration shall be shall bind the land and quite the title thereto subject only to exception stated in section 44 that anybody with conflicting in claim can file separate case in an ordinary court okay, number 12 step give the decree to of registration to the corresponding registrar regional province etc no then you have the sending the copy transcription of the decree of the registration so there's a transcript of the decree and then issue one some orders duplicate certificate of original certificate of title of the applicant and so on no? issue a transcription decree of decree so the transcription immediately upon the issuance of the entry of the decree registration the register of the land title transcribe the same in the register of book or register registry books called the registration book okay and then uh, the owners duplicate certificate of title to the applicant upon payment by him of the necessary registration fees okay so with that note no with that note you see in land registration in the philippines there are uh, 13 steps so take note that if you are owning a property okay, if you own a property or you're helping one another you have to reconsider that the chronological order of the steps are followed 
before you are actually or can actually uh, declare ownership. First, survey. Okay, survey ang lot. And then when it is surveyed, and you have to, down the line, you have to file application. And of course, the, during the filing, the court will inform the those uh, owners of the adjacent plots kung wala ba sila complaints and then and so on until finally may uh, issue ang ano ang uh, decree to register your land now this is judicial okay this is judicial it will be done by the court you can also uh, register or apply for a title in the philippines through the department of environment no? dnr they can also do that okay they can also do that so this these are the overlapping procedure in the Philippines. You can get your title either judicially or administratively. So I think that is that is about it on the what on the uh, aspect of land registration in the Philippines. I will end this particular lecture today with a statement that please stand by for the scheduled final exam for this course the final exam will uh, cover uh, the module uh, module two in fact it's actually integrated because it's open notes no? it's actually integrated i will give you a case and you discuss according sa inyong hibalan on sa inyong buhaton anang case how are you going to provide solution to the problems of the case so that will be your final so, in other words, your exam you don't need to copy from each other. If you have a no, if you have your notes, because that is open notes, that's take home open notes. Only that you are given time limit. I will collect your paper in uh, like two days. No? In two days, I will collect your paper. Please send it through my email. Okay. So with that note, as I said, thank you for listening, and I'll. I'll schedule the exam anytime uh, next week.